My past experience with Uwe Boll has been fairly positive. Heart of America is actually a very good movie, and In the Name of the King, a dungeon siege tale, is a solid, entertaining fantasy action flick. But on the other end of the spectrum, House of the Dead, another one of Boll's video game adaptations, is utterly atrocious. I could go on for hours about all the flaws in this movie. First off, the premise doesn't make much sense. Why would Sega, of all corporations, host a rave on a hard-to-reach island with the ominous name of Isla de Muertos, I think? The island is, of course, soon overrun by zombies, but Bull's zombies are very inconsistent. Sometimes they can only be killed by a bullet to the head, but at other times just shooting them in the chest will do. Salish, Clint Howard, Kirk's weirdo first mate, and the rave partygoers are presumably bitten and turned into zombies, but Kirk is bitten fairly early in the film and never shows any sign of becoming a zombie. The only method that can surely turn people into zombies is Castillo's never-seen immortality potion. The villain, Castillo, is established so hastily through a vague legend, and arrives so late in the movie, that we barely know who the antagonist is. The sets and gore effects are extremely cheap, and the soundtrack is composed mostly of irritating techno pieces. House of the Dead is never scary and barely even suspenseful, as we don't care about any of the characters. The characters are one-dimensional and annoying, the dialogue is laughably corny, and nobody acts like real people in this film. But the action is the biggest failure of all. The second half of the film follows the predictable pattern of one person staying behind and dying so that the others can survive, but the long, drawn-out battle is just awful. The action feels overwhelmingly aimless. The survivors need to fight their way to the house of the title, but all they do is wander around and shoot randomly at the zombies around them. They could just make a break for the house, but instead they waste several minutes and a lot of ammo in a pointless action scene with no sense of direction. The circling slow-motion shots are executed well, but they're the only way Bull can make his action scene seem cool. The circling shots get old by the third time anyway, and it's obvious that they were just lifted from the Matrix. <laughs> There was only one moment that made me think, that was pretty cool. And here it is. That was kinda awesome, but the rest of the battle is unbelievably tedious. The only compliment I can give House of the Dead is that Jürgen Prochnow has the best lines and most believable characterization out of the entire cast, and has some enjoyable scenes. But otherwise, Uwe Boll's House of the Dead is a complete disaster. I don't hate the movie, but it's one of the worst films I've seen in a while. I've seen bits of Blood Rain and Blood Rain 2. While corny, they weren't terrible. So far, I think Uwe Boll is a decent director, but House of the Dead makes him look like a talentless hack, which he probably is. House of the Dead earns one star out of five. Thank you for watching. Cheers. We're not unreasonable. I mean, no one's gonna eat your eyes.